Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you are going very well. Today I have a prophetic word to release for you, but before I jump into that, I would just like to share with you that today I got notified of quite something disturbing um, that the Church of England is pushing for to do. And so if you've not heard about it yet, it is basically they want to remove God being referred to as He and His out of Scripture and even out of the Lord's Prayer and not to use that. And so we can literally just see how things are unfolding as we are continuing in these times. And so just be on high alert and on high guard just against any deceptions of the enemy because for some people it might look good. For some people they might say, well, you know, because God is a spirit, he's not a he or a she, and that deception might actually go amongst even believers and they might fall prey to that. Now we know that Jesus said that we need to follow his example and teachings and Jesus always referred to God as Father and he always referred to God as a he and a his. So do not bend to any deceptions that the enemy might want to bring in. Just be alert and on guard, brothers and sisters. And if you don't already have a good hard copy of either the King James Version or the New King James Version or so forth of these really um, older kind of Bible versions, I would like to encourage you to get that because we don't know if um, with later translations that want to come and even on scripture on the internet that it cannot be changed and altered and things like that just so that you always have a, a, a good clean copy to go to. So um, before I basically read this word for you I'm just going to pray over it and I'll also type out this word and I'll put the link down in the description for you where you can go and have a read through this word in your own time. So my beautiful God Lord I thank you so much for this word. I thank you God that you are sovereign and that you my Lord are just so absolutely for us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will let this word reach who needs to hear it. And Lord, I just bind and I break by the power of your blood, my beautiful Jesus, any attempt of Satan to hinder or, dislay, or, or delay this word in Jesus' most holy and powerful name. Amen. Okay, so the Lord said, I am for you and not against you. Know this truth deep inside your heart. Much is going to take place in coming days. Darkness covers the earth. Great darkness is closing in and surrounding my people. Yet do not be afraid of what man can do to you. Rather stand in awe and reverence of me. For even though you may be persecuted for my name's sake, man cannot destroy your spirit unless you allow it. My spirit dwells within you sealing you as sons and daughters of the living God. No one has power to destroy you completely. I and I alone have the power to send men to eternal damnation or eternal glory with me. Men may destroy your property. Men may steal your possessions. Men may even destroy your body. However, men can never stop you from entering eternity with me. You are the only one who has the power to seal your own fate and no one can force you to choose me no one can force you to disown me unless you allow it you always have the choice as to whether to stand up boldly on account of me or to fall away when difficulties arise you and you alone have the power to choose as to whether you will serve me follow me and obey me or whether you will walk away and compromise if you do not know me intimately for yourselves, then how will you bear under pressure? When persecutions arise, will you not easily fall away? Who is the man who will not easily fall away? Is it not him who knows me intimately, he who walks closely with me, he who seeks me and dwells with me? He is the one who doesn't lose perspective when trying times come. Are you still building foundations on things that are shakable? Build every area of your life on me. Make me the center of your trust and security and you will stand. So my beautiful God, Lord, thank you that you are our cornerstone and our firm foundation. Help us to keep our eyes firmly fixed on you, Lord, no matter what we face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.